buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, are you going to get on the bed? Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. This video is about me. Henry. Come here. Come down here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you scratched my face. Wow. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our dog, Henry. He's our baby. Yes, I do treat him like a baby. He loves his daddy more than his mommy because I annoy him. Right? Yes, mom. Like right now, you're annoying me. Let me go. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. My name is Henry. Wave. Look at the camera. Hi, guys. I'm pretty. This video is about Henry and how we found him. A lot of our um, friends and family know about him, but I thought I wanted to um, share on my channel about him. Um, but yeah, he is, he has been with us since November the 9th, 2015. We were living in Huntsville at the time um, in a little apartment. Thomas and I had always wanted to get a dog, but we wanted to wait until we had a house with like a yard and it was just, it just seemed more fair to wait um, so they could have more, ow, more, <laughs> more space to run around. So we really weren't looking for a dog. Thomas did not want to get a dog. Um, <laughs> so anywho, um, I was working at Chick-fil-A so, I got off around 2.30 and 3 on certain days. I'm coming home, and it was in November, so the weather was, like, super crazy. It was kind of chilly, and it was drizzling. Um, so, I'm coming home, and I noticed this dog on this man's apartment um, outside, seating, seating area. And Henry is just in this little ball, all curled up, um, just sitting there, and I stop, and I say hi to him. I'm like, hey, buddy, like, what are you doing? It's kind of cold, isn't it? Um, I stand there and talk to him. Um, he's looking at me like he's all curled down, but he's looking at me like, mm. he looked really sad. So, you know, I'm going my way. Um, at that point, I just was, I just thought he was just sitting there. Because, uh, you know, some dogs are good. They stay, but, um, you know, some dogs run away. So, I go to change clothes because I'm going to go meet my friend at this little um, coffee shop type place um, about 30 minutes away or 25, 30 minutes away from where we live. So, so I leave, I mean, I don't know, it was about four and go meet my friend Casey. I go the same way. I go right past him again. I stop and I talk to him. At this point, I'm just kind of weirded out. Like, why is he still outside? <laughs> just sitting there all by himself, but I can't do anything about it, so I go on my way, and I go eat, um, after I meet, eat with my friend Casey, I go to Granny's, Granny and Fred's house to eat dinner, and I end up leaving about 7.30 to go back home. I, um, <laughs> I walk past again, and at this point, I'm kind of upset, because from when I left at 4, around 4, and then get home about 7.30, he's been, he's still sitting there in the same spot. So, I'm kind of upset now, kind of angry with whoever that he, you know, that man who lived in that apartment. So, Thomas gets home a little later, about 20 minutes later, and I'm like, come on, we're going to go see who, um, we're going to go see if that's that man's dog. So, Thomas and I walk down the sidewalk, we knock on the guy's door, and I honestly don't even remember saying, like, hi or anything to this man. I just ask him, like, is that your dog? And he goes, no. He's just been sitting there all day. Um, I did give him some water, but I don't think he's drink drank any of it. So, you know, we go outside. We talk to him again. And the man tells me that he would have brought him inside, but he had fleas and ticks. Um, and so he didn't want that in his man this man's apartment. So, basically, like, I, you know, was like, you know, we'll take him. We'll try and figure out who he belongs to. You know, in my head, I'm like, we are not thinking that he's going to stay with us. I honestly was trying to figure out who he belonged to because, if, buddy, careful. If, um, if my dog was missing, I would want somebody to at least try to figure out where his home was. 
So, I... Hold on, he needs to go. Okay, I'm back. So, I was basically saying that um, if my dog was missing, I would want them to um, really try to see who, like, where their home was. So, we go um, around the back of his apartment, and we see, we talk to Henry, and he's just looking at us. Like, obviously, like, I've seen him a lot, so he's looking at me. Um, we're asking the man some questions, and, you know, he's, he told us, like, he would have brought him inside, but he had fleas and ticks. He didn't want that as an, in, he didn't want that in his apartment. And so, I'm basically saying, like, oh, you know, we'll take him. Um, Thomas calls his dad, and his dad actually had a extra crate. So we get Henry in the car, we're going down the road, Henry's on, I had this blanket or a towel on my lap when, with Henry just sitting there. He's such a, he was such a good car rider, he did so good, but we get to his dad's house, we get out, and I look down at him, and I just say, Henry, <clears throat> and that is just how his name came. I just looked at him, and I knew that was going to be his name, it just fits him so well, I think he looks like a lot like a Henry, um, but his dad ended up ended up giving us that crate. He gave us some shampoo to wash him that was special for fleas and ticks. Um, so we go back to our apartment. We, I think I gave him like two or three baths. Like, of course he was in the bath the whole time, but I like washed him a good three times to just really try to, um, get him clean. Um, but then <clears throat> that first night was kind of interesting because he was in the crate. Um, of course, we really didn't want him, like, wandering around. He was in a new place. But he was, he barked a lot during that night. He, he was probably really scared. Um, but then that next night, I took him to what's called Pet Depot. And to see if he was microchipped. And the sweet lady actually gave us this um, chew for him to eat that actually killed the... Um, which I get him confused, but the fleas are ticks, like, right on the spot, and they were all on the floor, which is crazy, and he was just laying there, like, what the heck? Um, but yeah, so that helped him, it seemed like. We got him, um, at least that night, and he had a collar. He came with a blue collar. It didn't have a tag or anything, so obviously, like, if he did, we would have called that number or anything um he didn't have like a rabies tag so I think like the next couple of days I took him to the um a place that could give him the rabies shot and I do that and honestly I'm posting like all over these Facebook lost and found sites and no one ever responded they were all like oh he's so cute like what type of dog he is what type of dog is he and I'm like I honestly don't know but we um we think he's a terrier we just don't know what kind. Um, I think he is gonna he is mixed with something. We just don't know what. And we also don't know how old he is. Um, when we went to Pet Depot, <laughs> I think she said four, and we went to the um another vet that was in Huntsville and she said seven. Like that's the biggest gap ever. Um, so we don't know, but I just know that he will be four in our eyes, um, November the ninth of like this coming November. So we really don't know, but we just know that he is going to celebrate his fourth birthday with us. Depending how old he is, he's going to have his fourth birthday. Um, but yeah, he, he came, he, I want to say he came, like he already knew like potty training and things like that. He, um, knew how to sit. Um, he knows how to like lay down and things like that. Um, he doesn't know, like, shake or anything, but he is a sweet dog, and he loves people so much. If you ever come to our house, you already know, but Henry will come over to you. He'll give you, like, a thousand million kisses, and he'll just sit with you. Um, it's actually the cutest thing ever, but he does not like dogs. He, we don't know what happened to him. We think something really bad, um just made him not trust other dogs because he gets very aggressive towards them. He wants to like attack them. I don't, I don't, we don't know. That is just like our guess that something happened to him. He is good with, if he's been around the dog for um, many times, he's good with them. He just doesn't want to play with them. Like all the dogs that we see on a regular basis. 
they all like come try and like play with him and Henry just like walks off and he doesn't he doesn't bark or anything he just like walks off he goes does does his own thing we live in a neighborhood where there actually is a lot of dogs and so whenever we see a dog we literally turn the other way um especially that's what I do just because I'm by myself and sometimes it can just be really hard to make him calm down but when he's with Thomas like Thomas is just like good with him um I kind of get more nervous so I just turn around and go back because I'm not sure what's gonna happen but he is a little adventurous. He has gotten out maybe like two times here and we've had like chase after him. He runs so fast and so we'll be like running after him down the sidewalk. I remember one night he got loose and instead of him <laughs> like running in the road, he literally was running on the sidewalk. I don't know. He just, I don't know. That's just funny to me. Like he knew like not to get on the road. Um, but he's a sweet dog and we love him so much and I will literally be devastated and I don't want to think about it, but when he passes, I'm going to be so lost and I'm probably not going to want another dog because they won't be good as Henry. Um, but he's a good puppy. He sleeps with, um, he does go to my mom's a lot and it's just the cutest thing because I didn't have a dog growing up. Um, and whenever he like goes and visits my mom, he ends up sleeping with my mom. Like he does, she doesn't even put him in the crate. Like she lets him sleep with her. It's just really cute. Um, it's kind of hard when he, we let Henry, Henry sleep with us sometimes, but he ends up like sleeping like right under us. And so we're just scared that we're going to like roll on top of him. So we do put him in the, his little, we call it his house, but his crate. And we put him in his house at night. He doesn't mind it. He'll go in there. Like, today he was in there for, like, a good long hour. Just, just up with the little door open. Just hanging out in there. I don't know. But he just likes it. But, anyways, guys. That is all about Henry. Um, I hope I covered everything. I kind of just wanted to talk about his story and how we found him. We'll include some pictures of him that I took the first night or the first afternoon that we found him. They are pretty sad. There's just one that has his whole little back area. Um, his little, there's one little spot about that big that's just like white. And it's not white hair. It's just bald. Um, and that went away. I'm not kidding. Like in a good like two weeks, like it was changed. It was so weird. Like, I don't know. It was, it's weird. Okay. But I'll put, I'll put the picture in the video. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. And Henry says, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.